look like we're in the United States. Like, I don't know, you just don't think of these you know, giant sand dunes out here, you know? Like, it's crazy. I'm the Drib. And I'm Nurk. And we're here in Glamis, California to ride some sand rails, get some epic footage, and bring you along for the journey. I'm Dave Kubjinski. My wife and I, uh, Jen, rent out UTV vehicles, uh, do production assistance, production transport, stunt driving. Why are they called sand rails? Because it's caged. It's okay. A, so the, oh, the, okay. the rail is, and I, I think, I think what an old school would say is the rail is because you're putting lines out there. Gotcha. So it's kind of like being on rails. Um, it's kind of like being on rails. It yeah. really is. Can Am. I'm gonna put you guys in the Can Am X3 um, XRS. It's the Max. Uh, it's got 172 horse. One more thing that we actually do out here. We got the Glamis Black Bag Project. Uh, my wife and I started the program. We clean up trash. Um, That's we, cool. we were at one at one point going out uh, every week and cleaning up trash. Now it's to the point to where we have sponsors come in. We have thousands of dollars of prizes that were given to the youngsters and the parents that bring us in a bag of dune trash. It's gotta be dune trash, but it's it's working. That's so cool. That's awesome. We're literally cleaning Do you guys up take donations on that? Absolutely. Link in the description. I think that's an awesome thing that they're doing out here. Great way to keep this place that you guys get to enjoy so much clean. Trying yeah. to keep so it, that future generations it can enjoy it. Absolutely. And Hell yeah. And that's what we're trying to get into the youngsters. We're, we got the parents now at the point to where young, the youngsters are getting excited about it. And that's, I think that's what's really making the difference out mm -hmm. here. Hope that you guys is. will check it out and help support this because this is a beautiful, beautiful place. It is. And you know, you guys are lucky to get to enjoy it, and we're lucky to get to enjoy it today. Oh, glad to have you. Hey, it's a little tight back here. <laughs> a little, uh, Drew, how you doing back there, man? You got quiet. Well, you know, I struggle when other people are driving. Do you have any problem with more driving? No, I don't. And I, I trust you. I know I like know you're a responsible person. It's just like I got to get in an indie car with Gabby Chavez and go for a lap and even though he's like a professional, I was freaking out. It's just when other people are in control. Like if I was driving I'd be fine. That was so mellow. I will literally make you your whole self. I believe dude. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. This doesn't even look like the United States right now. We look like we're in a different country. It's absolutely beautiful. Like I said, Jumanji was shot in this area. Beautiful sand dunes. Anywhere from 50 to 100 feet in elevation. And these yeah. machines are amazing. We've got 300 horsepower, oh, 200 trust. horsepower. They're gonna go faster than we're gonna so be cool. comfortable sitting in. And I can't wait to get some epic footage. <laughs> Just in it for a minute, and then and, and then, then took off. No, 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 no. He crashed in your trunk like way over there. You drove around here and dumped him like right here, like right there. You dumped him right here for us. That's real life. Yeah, oh yeah. Thanks, man. No, 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 I'm glad to be on. Did it on purpose, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> 
since the 70s, probably the 60s actually, uh, people have been going out there and partying. Um, it got to the point back in the 90s, it got so bad during the night weekends that they actually shut it down during the night now. They don't allow people to congregate there anymore because um, of the trash. 2020 now, there's still trash. We'll go out there and clean it two, three times a year and we'll get truckloads of trash, literally truckloads of trash out of there. And by the next season, all the sand blows and it, it just comes right back. So we're just gonna keep on, and we're just gonna keep on pushing through and keep on cleaning. I'm gonna fly from in here, but I gotta wear a helmet. So the only way I can do that is by putting the goggles down, then securing the helmet. So I'm gonna be basically the drone until we get to the next spot. Riding in this thing while flying behind is one of the most disorienting things I've ever done. Like my stomach was like, this is wrong, this is absolutely wrong. And then seeing from, because my brain thinks I'm in the drone, and then I see the vehicle going over this mound, I feel it in my body, and it's this weird disconnect that I can't quite describe. It was so good. What an amazing day out here on Tatooine. <laughs> Red in the dunes. Definitely check out the Black Bag Project. Thanks to your whole team for letting us come out here and chase these yeah. things around. And uh, yeah, this is this is such a beautiful environment, and I honestly I can't think of a better way to get to enjoy it. So make sure to check out the Glamis Black Bag Project so you can learn about what they're doing and how you can help keep this area as amazing as it is. And yeah. follow AXA Off Road for amazing videos. Links in the description. On for all people of like y'all. We've got one more trek back to, to base, so I'm looking forward to. Getting a victory lap in. Thank so you guys for hanging we're, out. We're gonna go take the path that I've been following that uh, you guys that you guys just got some video on. It's Ooh. not gonna be nearly as fast, but we're gonna go take that path awesome. out. Yeah, of I've heard you say not as fast before. I've Every heard time you say, we're not gonna go fast. It's like. Whoa, whoa. <laughs>